Hi, this is Kia once again. Welcome to Prayer Line. Precious, well, I want you to know that today is the day the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. Today, I want to talk to you about how do we liberate ourselves from becoming prisoners of the past? How do we liberate us ourselves, emancipate ourselves, set ourselves free and at liberty from becoming prisoners of the past? Because the Bible makes us to understand in John chapter 10 verse 10, it says that, the thief comes not. It says the thief comes only. I like that part. The thief comes only to steal, to kill, and to destroy. That is the sole agenda of the thief. And the greatest thief or the major thief is Satan, Lucifer, the adversary, the deceiver, the enemies of Christians and humanity. The thief comes only to steal, to kill, and to destroy. Now it goes on to say that I come, that's Jesus Christ, I come that they may have life and have it abundantly. I come that they may have life and have it much more abundantly. So Jesus Christ comes to bring abundance of life to everyone who receives him. No matter your past, when you come to Jesus Christ, he not only saves you, wash away your sins and get you heavily bound, but he also makes sure that he gives you abundance of life in this present world. However, the enemy comes to kill, only to kill, to steal, and to destroy. Ever since you and I became Christians, God has an abundance of life awaiting us. And God expects us to begin to launch into or begin to manifest or experience that kind of abundance of life. That's one time Jesus says that anyone who drinks of my blood will never test again and anyone who eats of my body will never be hungry because out of that that person will flow rivers of living water. Rivers of living water. You will never test, you will never hunger because of the abundance of life that is in you by the power of the Holy Spirit. However, the devil has succeeded in placing limitation and placing some of us and the bondage and he has caged us and he has made us prisoners of the past prisoners of the past some of us we are prisoners of our past sins we used to be uh, we used to sin we used to do some evil things in the past now that we are born again the devil is still feeding our soul and our minds with the guilt of our past sins and therefore, some people or some of us have become prisoners of the past sins and past evil things they did in the past that they can't move forward, they can't progress, they can't enjoy the abundance of life. No matter what you did in the past, now that you are a Christian, now that you are a believer, your sins are forgiven and God doesn't remember it anymore. The precious blood of Jesus Christ has totally cleansed you from your past sins. And now God is giving you the grace to now live for him. So don't allow you to, for the devil to continue to remind you of your past sins. The things you did when you were an unbeliever. The things you did which were in, in disobedience or in, in uh, rebelling against him. Those days are over. The Bible says that if anyone be in Christ, he's a new creature. Behold, all things are new. Everything has become new. You have started from a new slate, a new chapter, a new book. So please don't allow the devil to hold you captive. Don't allow yourself to be a captive or a prisoner of the past, your past sins, your past evil ways. Maybe in your past you used to abuse your, husband, your wife. Maybe in your past you used to um, take advantage of people or steal. Whatever you did in the past, it is past, it is behind. Now that you are a Christian, God has given you a new life and embrace the new life, the abundance of life that he has for you. He wants you to become his righteousness. He wants you to live a holy life. He wants you to separate yourself from the world. He wants you to begin to do right, the right things. So don't allow yourself for the enemy to hold you captive. No matter what you did in the past. And some of us, we have really done some bad things in the past. But now your new life God has brought in a new life because of Jesus Christ. So don't allow the devil to continue to feed your mind and your spirit with guilt and always cause you to be sad and always feel as though God can never forgive what you did in the past. No, no, no. Don't become a prisoner of the past, of your past sins.
Paul. Paul was one of the greatest apostles. But before he became, he was an apostle or he became a disciple, he used to murder the Christians. He used to um, chase after them, to beat them up, imprison them. But when he accepted Jesus Christ or when he got saved, that was a new chapter in his life. And he became zealous and he began to do great things for God. So don't allow yourself to become a prisoner of the past sins. Then some of us are also prisoners of past mistakes. In the past, we made some terrible mistakes. You invested money where you, you shouldn't. You entered into some marriage which you shouldn't. You engaged yourself in a certain activity which you shouldn't. Some even are right now having sexually transmitted disease because some time ago, when they were unbelievers, they used to sleep around, flirt around, and they have caught, uh, they, they now have HIV, gonorrhea, herpes, and all sort of diseases, uh, sicknesses. Some people also, because of what they used to be involved in, it has also caused them a great pain right now, even though they are Christians. And sometimes the devil is feeding them that look at what your life is all about. The devil is reminding them of their past mistakes, the things they didn't do right, and the consequences that is affecting them even now that they are Christians. Please, don't allow yourself to become a prisoner of the, your past mistakes. Whatever you did in the past, which was a mistake, God has forgotten about it. God has forgiven you and God is now able to restore you and help you to make the right kind of decisions so that everything goes on well with you. So whatever past mistakes that you did in your first marriage, maybe you made some bad mistakes, you were very abusive, you were very angry, you were drinking, you were into drugs and all when you, you should have been in school, you were hanging around with friends so you couldn't finish schooling and it affected your life and daily the devil is feeding you with your past mistake and tells you, you could have been here but now look at you, you are no more. Tell the devil, devil, get off behind me. Don't become a, don't allow the devil to make you a prisoner of your past mistakes because now that you are a Christian, God is able to bring restoration. God is able to speed up the process for you to catch up with everything that you did wrong. He is able to amend. He is able to fix your past mistakes and bring restoration. So please, today from today, don't allow yourself to be a prisoner of your past mistakes anymore. No matter what you did in the past, whatever the wrong decisions you made, no, no, no matter the things you did which brought confusion, remember that now that you are a Christian, restoration is with you and abundance of God is going to flow through your life and God is beginning a new day, a new chapter in your life. Forget about the past. Some of us, too, we are prisoners of our mistakes prisoners of our mistakes or uh, i've talked about prisoners of mistakes some of us we are prisoners of failure our past failure we failed you failed in your first marriage you failed an examination you wanted to become a lawyer you didn't succeed you, you wanted to become this person or that person you didn't succeed anything that you pursued which you didn't ever succeed the devil is always reminding you oh look at you are filled in this you are filled you'll never make it you are you amount to nothing don't allow yourself to be a prisoner of your past failures because now that god has come into your life he is able to help you to become all that he wants you to become in christ jesus that's what the bible says that all things work together for good for them that love the lord and accord according to his purposes once you find yourself in connection or in relationship with our Lord Jesus Christ, everything that went wrong in your life, anything that you failed, God is able to use it all to bring the best out of you. So don't allow yourself to be a prisoner of your past failures. Don't let the devil beat you up on your head to say that you could have done this, you could have been here, you could have achieved this. Why did you feel this? Why you, you didn't succeed? You were a failure, you amount to nothing. That, uh, that is the lie of the enemy. He comes to kill, to steal, and to destroy. He is trying to steal and kill and destroy your confidence in the Lord Most High God. And he doesn't want you to embrace the abundance of life. He doesn't want you to embrace the joy of the Lord, the peace of the Lord, and the great things that God has in store for you. Don't allow yourself to be a prisoner of your past failures. Whatever you failed in, whatever exams you failed in, whatever marriages you failed in, whatever relationships you failed in, whatever jobs that you failed in, because of any mistakes or anything that came up, remember that God is able to bring a restoration. God is able to open new chapters and new doors 
for you because now you are a child of God, filled with the Holy Spirit, reading His Word. Now you are living for Him and He's about to do a new thing in your life. Some of us too, most importantly, are prisoners of past pain. Our past pain. Some of us, when we were growing up, we didn't have an, we didn't have easy upbringing. It could be that your father was involved in drugs and he was in prison. And so your mother who had to also just take care of you wasn't um, taking good care of you. So maybe you ended up in foster home or when you were young, you could sense that every time your parents were always abused, verbally abusing themselves and there was violence in your, in, your, in your family. There was chaos going on. You didn't grow up well because there was so much chaos. As young as you are, you needed to begin to take care of yourself. There was not much food. There was not much clothing. You, you, you struggled when you were growing up. You probably ended up in a foster home. You were even probably abused by your ex, uh, your, your stepfather. Your mother had to remarry because your father was abusive and there was a divorce. And the new man who your mom married maybe sexually abused you. And you have been really hurt and wounded and really suffering from this past hurt and this past pain even until now. Now you are still a Christian, but yet still, you are still a prisoner of your, uh, your, your past upbringing, your past pain. You are still held bound by it. But today, God says that He's coming to set you free, set you at liberty in the name of Jesus Christ. Whatever pain that you went through when you were young, whatever pain that you went through, when you were you are growing up god says that he's releasing that pain and he's going to fill your your body soul and spirit with his peace and with new joy and with new refreshment because he's going to he's opening a new chapter in your life no more should you allow the devil to make you a captive of the past pain because if you don't embrace the new life, the abundance of life that Jesus Christ has for you now, you will always be reminiscing the past pain and the hurt and the frustration and the, and, and the bitterness that you experienced in the past. Anytime you think about that man who sexually abused you, anytime you think about that um, ex-husband who took advantage of you and uh, abused you, it will always bring about bitterness, unforgiveness, and so you remain still bound by past pain. You are unable to experience the joy of the Lord, the peace of the Lord, the laughter of the Lord, the grace of the Lord, the abundance of life. You are unable to move on with your life because anyone who is a prisoner is still bound in a cage and the devil keeps on controlling you. He has placed a demonic um, wardens on your life who are watching you and they know that you can't fly like a bird in a cage you can't have your liberty you can't express the power of god you can't express the grace of god because the the devil has succeeded in making you a prisoner of the past but today god says that he has sent me to release the captives from every prison door every, every prison case every padlock is going to be broken every chains are going to be broken every prison doors um doors or prison cages are going to be set loose and now you are going to fly like the eagle and you are going to embrace all the good things that god has for you you don't have to be a prisoner of the past you don't have to allow the devil to keep on pressing suppressing depressing filling your life with bitterness anger unforgiveness hatred because of what went on in your upbringing god says that a new day has come and is setting you free and is releasing you for he has a better things he has a better treasures he has a better life for you a better life ahead of you so forget about the past and begin to embrace your new future and what the lord god God Almighty is about to do for you. Some of us, we went through past rejection, growing up, past abuse, sexual abuse, verbal abuse, physical abuse by our ex-husbands or, 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 or by our stepfathers when we were growing up. Disappointment. A man promised to marry you. He promised to do great things for you. And yes, when you got into this relationship, this man disappointed you and left you and your heart is broken and you are still a prisoner of that past relationship. God says that he's releasing you. He's about to 
make a way for you. You are going to come into contact with the right man for your destiny and your life. And everything that you have gone through in the past, he is opening a new chapter. God today is healing. He is healing the broken heart. He is healing people from past wounds. He is bending your broken wounds. And he is healing you. And he is about to fill your life with joy, with peace. Today is the day of deliverance. Today is the day where God is setting the captives free and opening the prison door and opening the prison cage and allowing all the uh, the best to fly so high the best to fly so high to uh, to receive the liberty that there is in jesus christ past betrayal um because of what somebody did to you they betrayed your trust they betrayed you and and, and, and it has hurt you past lost you lost something which was dear to you uh, you lost a dear one. You probably you lost a child or a daughter. You lost a husband or a wife or your parent, and you are still prisoner of the past lost. God says that He's bringing deliverance to you today. He's going to comfort you. God says that today He's comforting His children. He's strengthening His children. He's helping His children to step out of every cage, every imprisonment, and He's opening a new day, light, a new sunshine, a new glory, a new beauty into their lives. Today, God says that he's opening new doors for you to step out and enjoy the abundance of life. Because the Bible says that the thief cometh only to steal, to kill, and to destroy. But Jesus, your Savior, Jesus, your Deliverer, Jesus, the capture of your salvation, Jesus, our Lord and our Master says that I come, that you and I may have life and have it much more abundantly. Today, God is bringing an abundance of life into your body, soul, and spirit. Abundance of life into your job. Abundance of life into your family. Abundance of life in every area of your life. God says that He's bringing the abundance of life into your very life. And you will sense liberty, joy, fulfillment, and peace in your life. God is today reaching out to you. Some of us, because we have allowed ourselves to be held bound by these prison doors, because we are prisoners of the past, it is always causing hate. The devil is always causing hate, bitterness, unforgiveness, sadness, depression, fear, worry, stress, fear. We are unable to fly. We are unable to move on. We are unable to progress. Because always the devil is succeeding to remind you of what went on in the past. And God says that, behold, I am doing a new thing. Behold, I am doing a new thing in your life. So please, let the past be past. Let the past be past. I don't care. It doesn't matter. God says that it doesn't matter what you went through. He's bringing healing. He's bringing deliverance. He's bringing restoration. He's, he's, he's turning your, your, ash, your, your, your ashes into beauty. He's exchanging your ashes into beauty. He's exchanging the garment of sorrow, weeping, into the garment of praise. He's doing a new thing in your life. Today, God says, I sent me to tell you that embrace the abundance of life. Anyone who drinks of his blood, drinks of the Holy Spirit, that person will never test again. Anyone who eats of his body through his word, that person will never hunger again. God wants abundance, the rivers of living water to begin to flow in your life. For the Bible says that the joy, the joy, the peace, the joy of the Lord is our strength. God is opening the prison door, the cage for you to step out and begin to embrace a new chapter, a new day in your life. Forget about your disappointment. Forget about the betrayal. Forget about the rejection. Forget about the failure. Forget about the things that you have to go through, you have to endure when you were growing up. The abuse, the hurt, the rejection. And all the pain that was inflicted upon you by somebody. God says that release them. Forget about them. Forgive them and now embrace a new day in your life. Because the Bible says that if anyone be in Christ, behold, he's a new creature. All things have become new. And whatever you lost in the past, God says that he's bringing restoration. He's bringing restoration. He's going to revive your dreams. He's going to revive your vision. He's going to revive his purpose concerning your life. And you shall see a, whatever you lost in the past can never be compared with what Jesus Christ has for you now. Whatever you went through in your previous marriage, you have no idea what God is going to bless you with, with this godly, God-fearing, uh, loving new husband in your life. 
please don't allow yourself to become prisoners of the past because people have allowed or we have allowed ourselves to become prisoners of the past we are, on, in, on, we are unable to embrace the best of God for our lives we are unable to embrace the good things that God has for us because he says that behold he says that I know the thought I think towards you says the Lord thought of peace and not evil to bring you to an expected end there is an expected end there is a good thing that God has for you and I but we have to forget about the past we have to allow the past to go let the past be past let the former things be the former things and begin to embrace the beauty the glory of the of, and the goodness of God upon your life God is beginning a new day in your life I would like to end by reading Isaiah chapter 43 verse 9 Isaiah 43 verse 9 this is the word of God concerning your situation this is the prophetic word of God concerning your, your situation it says behold I am doing a new thing behold I am doing a new thing God says that behold he is doing a new thing in your life and in my life behold I am doing a new thing now it springs forth now it springs forth today God is opening the prison door God is emancipating you God is releasing you from the bondage of imprisonment of being a prisoner of the past God is setting you free and at liberty your body soul and spirit no demon no principalities no past failures no past rejection no past um, mistakes no past hurt no past mistakes or sins can hold you bound anymore because now god says that now it springs forth now it springs forth do you not perceive it do you not perceive it for you to perceive something which god is about to do it it is not being perceived by your physical sight you have to be able to perceive it with your heart and your spirit remember this sight 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 seeing something is a function of the eye seeing something is a function of the eye but perception or to perceive a thing is a function of the heart or the spirit so today you don't have to just look at what you are going through but you let your spirit man let your heart begin to see what god has in store for you he has a glorious end he has a good thing he has a fantastic thing he has a beautiful thing in store for you so let the past be past let the past go away because he says that behold i am doing a new thing in your life I, he says that do you not perceive it I will make a way in the wilderness I will make a way in the wilderness it, it doesn't matter your upbringing it doesn't matter the mistakes it doesn't matter the failures it doesn't matter the rejection it doesn't matter the disappointment the abuse the betrayal the loss of a dear one it doesn't matter the hurt the bitterness don't forgive the sadness the, the depression the fear the worry the stress all the things that you are going through God says that behold I do a new thing and now it springs forth do you not perceive it I will make a way in the wilderness whatever wilderness that you have been going through because of being in a prison of the past God says that he's going to make a way in the wilderness and rivers in the desert God says that rivers the rivers of life the rivers of abundance of life the rivers of peace the rivers of joy the rivers of favor the rivers of grace the rivers of blessing are now coming into your life so you have to be able to forget about the past in order to embrace the blessings the goodness the riches that they raise in the kingdom of God through his son Jesus Christ God says that Jesus Christ says that the thief cometh not to steal to kill and to destroy but I have come that I may give you life and give you much more abundantly today resolve to embrace the abundance of life and forget about the past and you will sense a new beginning in your life even in Jesus name I would like to sing this song to you in there's this song which says that do something new in my life something new in my life something new in my life oh lord do something new in my life something new in my life something new in my life oh lord do something wonderful in my life something beautiful in my life something wonderful in my life oh lord 
Lord, do something new in my life. Something wonderful in my life. Something beautiful in my life. Oh, Lord, I cannot do without you. I cannot do without you. I cannot do without you. Oh, Lord, I cannot do without you. I cannot do without you. I cannot do without you. Oh, Lord, so do something new in my life. Something new in my life. Something amazing in my life. Oh, Lord, do something new in my life. Something new in my life. Something new in my life. Oh, Lord. And the beginning of this song starts with like, Yesterday is gone. Another day has come. Do something new in my life. Yesterday is gone. Another day has come. Do something new in my life. Do something new in my life. Something new in my life. Something new in my life. Oh, Lord, do something new in my life. Something wonderful in my life. Something amazing in my life. Oh, Lord, God is doing a new thing in your life. Don't blow the opportunity. Don't allow yourself to allow the devil to keep you being a prisoner of the past. Embrace the best of God for you. And step out of your prison cage. Step out because the door has been opened. But you have to step out and begin to fly. Today, Jesus says that he has flung the prison door open. He has broken the bars of the cage. It is you as a bird to step out and begin to fly and soar up. And enjoy the liberty that there is in Jesus Christ. There is an abundance of goodness, abundance of life in Jesus Christ. That's why Miangelo right one time wrote, the, uh, wrote this book. I know how, why the cage bird sings. You are that cage bird which is now coming out and you are about to sing a new song. Because God is doing a new thing in your life. May God richly bless you. May you refuse, may you resolve never to allow the enemy to hold you captive anymore and enjoy the best of God for your life. Shalom, peace be with you. Stay blessed.